I'm gonna try this again. Okay, so this is the wood grain tutorial. Uh, sorry, if you guys are watching this from this point, I'm no longer live. So I'm gonna sit here, wait for some of y'all to jump on, and then we'll get started with the tutorial while I get my stuff all together. Um, and go from there. So just jump, when you jump on, say hi, let me know you're there, and we'll get started and go from there. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Hey, Wanda. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Megan. Hey, Brittany. Okay. So we're going to go get ahead and got some of y'all on here. Um, if y'all have any questions or anything, please feel free to ask. Um, I'll do my best to keep track and answer as many questions as I can. Um, yes, Merry Christmas to you and to everyone else who's out there tonight watching. Um, hopefully everyone's got most of their Christmas orders out and done. Um, I still have one left because I took a last minute order. So yay for last minute orders. All right. So wood grain tutorial. Um, the things you're going to need to do wood grain cups are cup. Um, I use Krylon Master, um, just white flat paint gotta be flat paste paint to do uh, the base coat for the wood grain tumblers. You are going to need your brush. I have this one. Um, <clears throat> I don't know anything about this brush other than it's been in my closet in my craft closet for years, but it's the best one I've found for uh, doing the wood grain. Um, but it's just your, it's just a bristle hair brush. Um, and you're also going to need your decals to do the two-tone and uh, rubber gloves I recommend because then that way the ink doesn't stick to your hands so um, I have already prepped my cup um, with white spray paint and <clears throat> so since we're doing kind of like a double tutorial with part of it being both just regular wood grain and part being the two-tone wood grain um, we're gonna start with basically the base coat for the two-tone wood grain so you guys can see how to do them. So when I do these, I leave the pole in the cup so that then I can hold it like this to do my painting. This is gonna be fun because I have to do this like way up here. I'm gonna actually drop my camera since <laughs> this is gonna be entertaining for you guys. Yeah, that's a slight earthquake. Okay. Now I feel weird because I've cut off part of my head. Okay. Oh, much better. So we've got smooth white base, bottom painted, everything's painted. When I do a two tone, I um, will either do, well, for what I'm, for two tone, like I'm doing, um, <clears throat> I use a yellow base um, for the wood grain. And on this one, I'm using, um, okay, so I use um, the Holt inks. So the yellow I use is, oh boy, it's going to be sunshine yellow. I think it gives it a nice pine look. And to add a little bit, hey Lisa, of depth to it, I use pebble as a mix with it to give it some extra lines. So, uh, when I do this, you're just going to take, this is going to be entertaining. Okay. So I do both at one time. So you just take it. Oh boy. Here we go. You're just going to do a little drip and then you dry brush up, down. And uh, I didn't clean this brush, so it's got brown on it still from the cups I did earlier. Hey, Becky. How's the weather in Kentucky? I bet it's cold. <laughs> All right, so then you just up, down brush. And it's going to start to give lines. Because with alcohol ink, it dries very quickly. It's already dry. Well, except for right there, I just put my finger. But um, it's going to dry quick. I'm... <laughs> 
Yeah, well, at least up there you get snow. We don't get snow down here in Houston very often. Although we did get it this year already, which is weird. So you're going to just keep going around the cup. If I stop talking, it's because I'm trying to look at what I'm doing. And so with this, to get with the two-tone, you have your decal. So here's my little buck's head. And you're going to want it so that the base coat is wider than the decal you're using. Um, you can do this in any color. It doesn't matter, red, blue, green, whatever color you want. You can make it darker. It's all going to be the same. Um, it's going to look the same with the wood. Um, I've done several two-tone cups with wood grain where the back is actually teal. Um, and then do the nice dark green on the front. This color is sunshine yellow is what it is. It kind of looks a lot darker on my phone for some reason, but sunshine yellow. And the reason I love wood grain cups is one, cause they're super quick and easy and you really can't mess them up. Um, all right, so I'm going to make this a little bit darker. So this is, that's wide enough for my decal. So here's your yellow. And then I just kind of go through, oh my goodness, it won't come out. And this is pebble. And it's going to kind of, it's going to dirty up the yellow and give it more of a, a rustic-y pine look. Come on. This is difficult doing it, not looking. And so what happens when you dry brush is it gives you the effects of wood grain. Um, a lot of, and a lot of different tutorials you'll find will have a lot of different methods for how they make different things appear. This is really funny. Um, so it's just gonna, I know it looks kind of strange right now, but like I said, I'm going to keep mixing in some of the pebbles so it darkens it up a little bit. Um, if you're wanting to do some people do knots and they make them really, really detailed. Um, I don't like doing them that way because, I mean, in, in wood, you're going to end up with, if the best way to describe how these look is like how a door looks in a house, like a solid oak door. Um, so you get the kind of different knots. Uh, but the more of the different colors you put on, the different the wood grain look is going to be as far as color. And... <clears throat> All right, so this is going to be the base of my two-tone cup. Next, you have your decal. Uh, when doing wood grain, anything, anytime you're using a stencil on top of paint um, and it's not gonna be there permanently, always use the 631 Oracle. I realize it's probably backwards to you guys, but um, 631 Oracle is going to be the temporary adhesive. It's easy to come off. Hi, Tammy. So I have my, I'm going to do this. This is going to be entertaining. So you're going to watch it over my shoulder. Um, so you're, hi. Uh, you take your decal, stick it about where you want it on the cup. That looks about right. That looks straight. And put the decal on. Take it off. So here is, I, I have never had it pull the spray paint off when I do my cups, uh, the paint. Uh, Tammy, the inks I use, I get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It just depends on who has them on sale. Um, but I haven't ever had them pull them off. And I'll show you real quick how, I don't keep these on very long, uh, Felicia, so it's real quick process. So. So on there, uh, don't worry about the air bubbles because again, the decal's not staying on there. So let me switch my inks. And um, some people will clean their brushes in between, oh boy, um, layers. I don't because then what happens is around this area, the ink will blend with the, this. So the other color I use is gonna blend with the, uh, 
other two colors and then it gives it much a lot more of a natural looking flow that's just my opinion that doesn't mean that's necessarily how you have to do it um so for the darker woods i use um which one's this one express i use espresso this is one of my favorite ones uh for wood grain espresso and teak wood are like my two favorites for the darker wood grains um, I also really like Seppa. I just recently found that one and it gives it like a, a cherry wood look. So, like I said, I don't clean my brush. And that's just me. You can clean them if you want. Um, and you just start same exact way. Uh, the ink will get on the deer. It's okay. That's the point. Um, you do want to make sure that all of the edges are down. So that when you paint over it, it doesn't go underneath. So here we go. I'm going to turn my back to you guys again. All right. So you just put the ink on. And like I said, this is espresso. So it's going to make it darker. I didn't put enough on. And with it, you can use as much of it as you want or as little of it as you want to get the how dark you want it. Um, How do you keep the espresso from turning green? I haven't had it turn green before, except for when I just did these last cups where, um, for wood grain, I always heat my epoxy. So there's like zero air bubbles in it. And, um, I overheated my epoxy. I use FX epoxy and I overheated it and it did have a spot that kind of turned a little green, but it wasn't enough to like noticeable enough to me. Um, I have had before where I've done, um, which color was it? Oregano, which I realize oregano is a green. Um, when I used a spray sealer on it, it turned like super green. And I actually ended up having to redo the cup. Sorry, I'm just, don't realize how low I'm doing this. All right, so. All right, so now I just go around and do your little drops and always painting up and down. And I'll show you why, because if you don't paint up down, you end up getting a knot, which a knot is what you want. Hey, Brittany. Oh, thank you. I love the purple too. Just got my hair dyed purple. My mom's watching this right now and I'm sure she's not liking my hair. <laughs> So it's getting darker. So then you just keep going around until you get it as dark as you want. You can always add a second color to it to get it to have a different types of depth, I guess. Um, this cup is for a customer, but they don't know what it's supposed to look like. So, all right. I can get the ink to go down. I'm not used to holding the cups this way, so you'll have to bear with me. Okay, so keep painting. And these are cup these cups are really super quick, and that's kind of why I love doing them, because I had a customer order these very last minute for a Christmas present. And I was like, yeah, sure. Um my ink's not wanting to go all the way down the cup. It's cold in my I work in my garage, so I have a little space heater and it doesn't always heat as well as it needs to. I'm just trying to make sure I get the bottom. So. Mm -hmm. I hope all of you are enjoying this. This is the most awkward thing I've ever done upside down and backwards. All right. So I'm going to take off the decal so you guys can see how it looks. So it's got a nice dark color now. And where, one second. Ah, there it is. Okay. I use dental tools. Let's see if I can show you. This is a dental pick. That's what I use to do all of my weeding of vinyl, um, for peeling vinyl off of cups to do like geodes and stuff. So very super small. This is my favorite one. It's got, it's a two sided tool. Got it on Amazon. Um, I've learned that with this decal, it's better to start from the bottom side. So with the hook, you just come up here 
And you have to be very careful not to uh, peel off, like scratch the uh, paint. And so you can start seeing it. Oh, come on. So my, my deer is starting to show through. Oh, dear. And I always do this very, very. <laughs> yeah, if it, and the funny thing, this cup is actually for a woman. So. Huh, look at that. See, this is what live videos are fun for. So here you go. And for the first time ever, look, the spray paint peeled off. <laughs> I've never had that happen. And I've been making wood grain cups for like ever, um, for actually like six months, but no big deal. Cause I can fix it with a little touch up paint. <laughs> the glitter. Yeah. I'll have to put glitter there, but, um, no big deal. It happens. Shit happens. So what I'll do with this is actually just feel, fill it in with, um, white acrylic paint and then just do some touch up to it. No big deal. And then, uh, yeah. So you just, Continue to do what you've been doing with the wood grain. And paint the whole way around the cup. Oh my goodness. It would be, it figures though that that would happen during a live that it would goof on me. <laughs> so. Oh no, you're, <laughs> hey, my, uh, my maiden name is Murphy and Murphy's Law is that anything that can go wrong will. So, but luckily I've done it enough to know how to fix it. And I just use white acrylic paint and a very small brush and fill it in. And it works out just fine. Everybody has cups, they goof. I have a box full of cups that I have messed up on over the months of and years of doing this. So anyway, so here's how that works. And you just continue to go around the cup till you get the way you want it. Um, the thing that people tend to get a little weirded out about is the bottom because when you go all the way around the cup, the wood grain goes all different directions. So what you do is basically pick a direction you want the wood grain to go and you do the exact same thing up, down, and you just pick a direction. Super simple. This is like seriously awkward for me because it's like y'all are looking over my shoulder and you are. So. so you just keep going around. I make mine into a knot. Oh, I haven't done that before. I've always just done that because usually I put my decal on the bottom and so it doesn't really show much of it anyway. <laughs> but, uh, Yep. You'll have to tell me if you can't see what I'm doing because I can't see the camera. So then say it starts to look like nice wood grain. So this would be like a really big knot. I've never done, like I've seen the people that do like the actual like swirl knots. I'll show you guys. This is how I do a knot because, oh, thank you for letting me know. I put the ink kind of where I want the knot to go and you paint one direction. So I just go down and what'll happen is it'll start to give you like the eye of a knot. And then because I have it there, I want the darker, this darker stuff down here on the bottom. Come on. So it starts to make, this is how I do knots. I've seen some people do them a lot more detailed than that. So there would be, this is how I make a knot. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's weird for me because this is like right behind me. But so this is how 
This is how I make knots. It's, it, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things like my workbench is wood and that's how I, the knots kind of look to me. So, and I will tell you guys, I always do warn all customers whenever I make wood grain cups that no matter what I do, there will be glitter in the epoxy. Can't help it. I sell glitter. So, I mean, it's everywhere in my house, garage, everything. So I do tell people that no matter what, there will be, there will be glitter somewhere on their cup. And it doesn't matter how hard I try, there will be glitter. Even if I put the, do the cups in the house, which I don't like to do, but yeah. Yes. So, um, but if any of you guys have any questions about the wood grain or whatever, I'm going to quickly try to paint around the entire cup so that y'all can see what it would look like finished. And if I had some white paint, ooh, I do. Hold on. Aha, uh -huh, I have white paint outside. So I don't normally was planning on doing. Yeah, I do it as simply as easy as I can because I honestly don't have time to sit there and play with cups as like as long as some people. <laughs> so I actually try to do it as quickly as I can. And um, like I said, you can do two colors. You can do as many colors as you want. I just find it easier to just use one and espresso has kind of been my go-to wood grain color for the past few months. And I like how it gives it that, it sounds weird, but it gives it an oak look. Yes, this is, I am just going around with espresso on this layer. And the more you put it on there, the more it's going to push the alcohol inks from, uh, on outside outward and sorry guys i'm so thirsty um yeah i did i did six cups no no glitter it was insane i don't know how i did it but uh but yeah so same color all around for this the two the deer which is missing now it's bottom piece but whatever um is two colors because uh it's going to it's uh sunshine yellow and pebble because for the lighter colored inks like um i do a lot of the turquoise um two-tone colors and um i use pebble with it so it gives it a little break up in the blue i make it look so easy yeah fun fact i've only been making wood grain tumblers for about three months um and i find them so easy those bags of glitter behind me which part they're over there over there i've got some well those are just cups and a bunch over here i actually have a bag of glitter holding my camera stand so it doesn't fall over yeah i have a lot and i have a lot more coming in this week so yeah i'm kind of trying to see if there's any weird tricks that i do with this to make it look different and um i guess the what i do is i always leave space in between the lines um because then i have to go back into it to make it darker sorry let me turn my back again <laughs> so oh my goodness this one's running out of ink um and by the way the reason i wear the glove is because I don't know if you'll be able to see the ink will splatter from the brush onto my hand and alcohol ink stains. Uh, I can't, well, it's not really, you can't really see, but it's still, if you see my hands kind of green, um, I had an entire bottle spill on my hand the other night. It's been three days and three showers and it's still on my hand. So now it's just green though. At least it's not brown anymore. It just looked terrible. I probably will have a neck ache, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'll just have to lay on the heating pad, drink some wine, watch some really cheesy Christmas movie. Look at this. There's already glitter. I don't know if y'all can see. I already have glitter on this cup and it's on my glove. 
but there's glitter already on it. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. Y'all saw, I tried no, to have no glitter on it, but it has glitter. I feel so bad, guys. I'm, I'm trying so hard to hold this up high. So other than this little boo-boo, we'll just cover it up. This is how you do a two-tone wood grain. Um, I do, I have this SVG. If anybody wants it, I will put it on the Glitter Chimp page for free. You guys can have it. Do whatever you want with it. Um, it's just one I made. Um, so I do have the deer file if anybody wants it. Um, I've also actually got another one. I have to do another cup. This is a deer and a hook. I have this SVG I'll put online as well for free. I don't care. Um, everybody always takes everything anyway, so I'm not going to charge anybody for it. Um, so, but yeah, y'all can get on there and I'll, I haven't uploaded yet. I'll do it, but, um, it'll be in the files page for glitter chimps page. Um, and I'll put it on this one as well, but, uh, yeah, hopefully though, I've wanted to do some more tutorials after the first of the year, mainly after our subscription boxes go out next month. Um, for those you don't know, uh, I do own glitter chimp. Um, I'm not doing this to advertise, but since I have you, might as well. Um, we do subscription boxes for glitter every month. It's a mystery box, totally random. Um, you have no idea what you get, but everything I put in them is the most popular glitter colors for right now. Um, also, fun fact, colors that are popular right now are blacks, uh, golds, rose gold is always popular and, um, pinks and purples. I think a lot of people are getting ready for Valentine's day. So glitter chimp is my glitter company. Uh, we sell, oh my goodness, a lot of glitter. Let's see. What do I have up here? Here is one of my favorite ones. Use it all the time. I've got behind me is a slot, like a small rack of glitter y'all have been nice i'll show you i'll have to pick up my camera you guys get to see the huge mess that's behind me so this is my my glitter um this is only a quarter of it <laughs> the rest of it's honestly in a box behind me on the floor i just i need more shelving i told my husband for christmas i wanted him to build me a new glitter rack hopefully he uh does so Yes, all of my glitter comes in two ounce bottles by weight. Um, sometimes I do have to use bigger jars. I'll show you guys. I use this one, but like for stuff like the shape glitter, I always put it in the bigger jars versus the uh, smaller two ounce jars because this way that doesn't it'll fit better, and because then it doesn't get all bent and crushed while it's trying to be shoved into the tiny bottles. Um, but we do also have. For those of you that are kind of new, we have these new shapes. This is our ultra shapes. Oh God, that is so blurry. Maybe it won't. Anyways, so this is glitter. It's not, well, uh, it's, if you go to, I think Brittany is still watching. Brittany's the moderator, is one of the moderators in this group. So, oh boy. <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Thanks, Brittany. Um, anyways, so we do, we have glitter. Um, if you actually go to the top of our page, it's both a website and on Facebook. Um, it's a Facebook page. You can post whatever, ask questions, anything you want. I just ask you don't advertise other glitter companies in my Facebook page um, for Glitter Chimp. Um, oh, you're fine. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, we do subscription boxes. They go out. You can cancel anytime. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to advertise. I didn't do this for that reason. Um, so anyways, you just keep going around the cup. Got the bottom done. I missed a spot. And that's going to be how you do a two-tone wood grain tumbler. Um, if there's any other... T do y'all have any other tutorial videos that y'all want to learn? I know there's a lot of people in here that are beginners. And we've all been there. So, um, I do know that, um, 
I want to do a tutorial on the chunky mixes. The colors that I used are, let's keep having a look, Sunshine Yellow and Pebble for the, the base color. And then Espresso is the top color. And I only use Espresso for the top. I don't use other colors. Uh, it's spray paint. I use um, white. It's a matte, a flat spray paint for the base. Um, just spray painted directly onto the cup. Um, I do my best to try not to have the uh, drips, but if you do, it's no big deal. Um, um, yes, the fat I want to do. I actually have never made a fabric tumbler. It may be really entertaining for me to do a live tutorial of that. But because my OCD won't let me, I can't do a fabric tumbler. But if anybody in the group knows how to do them, it is amazing. Hey, I would love to watch how to do them. What cups can you make without a turner? You can make any cup without a turner from what I understand. Um, you do have to hand turn. You can hand turn them. Um... I've never had, I don't hand turn mine, um, but you can. Uh, but I'm sure if you ask Cassandra in the group, someone, there's a lot of people out there that don't have turners that do uh, hand turn um, their cups. I don't, I have a cup turner. But um, I do want to do a tutorial with the chunky mix at the bottom with the, so the ombre. And because um, I know a lot of people get really weir weirded out about using the chunkier glitters. And I've actually, I was very worried when I first started doing cups, um, I actually got freaked out by the chunky glitter and the jumbo glitter especially. But I then quickly learned that jumbo and chunky glitter make ombres so easy because I'm not that good at doing an ombre with ultra fine glitter. Um, I can, I've gotten much better at it, but I, it's, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> it's, I'm not the best at that. Um, but these I can do all day long. I make them like every day. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I do want to do one on those. Um, any overall time from start to complete on a tumbler, um, with dry time, like curing times is going to be like, let's see, I'm trying to think about, for me, it's about four days, but, but that is like a hundred percent focused on one cup. Um, whenever I have a customer order a cup, I tell them it takes about three weeks from start, like from when they order to actually completing it. And I'm a procrastinator. So typically that means it's done about four to five days before it's actually meant to go out. But that's just, I'm a procrastinator and that's how I do things. Um, for bigger orders, um, I do get a lot of, I have one customer specifically that does the bumblebee to like the bumblebee tumblers. Um, those take, uh, pretty much per cup. Uh, it takes about f five, six days on those because it's a complicated process. Um, but She's a great customer and it takes me about a month to do her cups, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. So, yep. If anybody has any other questions, totally cool with answering them about glitter or epoxy. Um, I can show off some really fun ornaments that I made. My daughter, my daughter's four. We made ornaments the other day. Well, yesterday. These are amazing. If y'all have extra time and glitter, and have access to glass ornaments. I totally recommend this. Um, I have not attempted the dragon scale cup. I can do a mermaid cup. Um, oh, I'm, I think I'm probably the only one, Brittany, that can do the bumblebee cups. <laughs> not that other people can't, but I think I'm the only one that's done a tutorial on them. Um, which I actually, uh, I have... If you look behind me, like up on that shop, that top shelf, whoops, right there, I have 20 B tumblers to do. So I absolutely can do a tutorial on the B cups. 
as well as I have all the files on the Glitter Chimp page for free download. Um, but the glitter we used is this glitter. It's honeycomb. Oh my gosh, it's so blurry. But it's, this is honeycomb. It's my favorite glitter that I carry. Well, for the most part. I'm not a big fan of golds, but yeah. So we can absolutely do a bee tumbler um, one. And the, uh, I'll even do it so it shows you guys every single step because then that way it's, I don't wanna have to do like eight different tutorials. Instead, it's just one. It takes about an hour, but it's probably one of my favorite ones to do. It's a pain, but it's fun. So, yep. Otherwise, that wood green tumbler is done. And I've got, oh my gosh, I have more ink on my hands. Yes, the, as long as you have the glitter, it's super quick. Um, the bee tumbler, I wish I had some that were like one that's done. I'll have to come up with a time to do it because we're gearing up for our subscription boxes right now. So it gets a little crazy in here. Um, you want to talk about a cup that ends up with a lot of glitter on it. It's that one. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. I'll come up with a time and maybe before the end of the year, if I can clear out a lot of space in here, we can do the bee uh, tutorial. I'd love to do it because it's, it's a fun cup. Um, I, I'll try to do it next week. Not Christmas, the following week. So before, right after, right before New Year's, after. Um, we do make cup turners. Um, let me see. One second, let me grab one. Okay. Uh, so we make, Glitter Chip makes DIY ones. This is one that's complete and put together. Um, this is for just this piece. It's, it comes in the mail super quick. Um, it's wood, you very quick and easy assembly. Um, there, these are 35. And then if you want the motor, it's 80, 85. I want to say it's 85. And that comes with the motor, the, the pole and all that stuff. Um, we do, we are currently working on making the bigger turners like we used to but we've been working on the new design and it's just taking trial and error with those. Uh, yes, I do put the vinyl under epoxy. Um, now some, a lot of people make cups and they don't put anything on them. They just put the bare, whoops, like just the, the decal on the cup and that's it. And that's totally fine. You, a lot of people do it and you totally can. Um, I, I do epoxy all of mine. Um, hold on, let me grab a cup. So, okay. So, like, this is this is for my daughter's teacher for Christmas, right? <laughs> School's already over. She'll get it at the beginning of the year. Uh, <laughs> but this is a vinyl decal under epoxy. Um, I don't know. It's just, it just makes it smooth. And then the, the deal decal can't peel off. So, y'all don't forget me. My throat is killing me today. My husband, daughter, and I spent the day today digging for arrowheads. It was really fun. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know what time it is. Anyway, so we're done with the tumbler. Next step would be epoxy. And we'll put the... I do have to put a decal name on it. Um, for the 20-ounce tumblers, I always put the names vertical. Thanks to Brittany, who's the moderator, who was like, you need to do that. Um, otherwise, if it's on the 30 ounce cups, I typically will go side to side. Horizontal, I guess it's horizontal. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, so anyways, so y'all have any questions, I will stick around and I'll answer any questions in the comments. Um, otherwise you can message me. I'll get the files uploaded and everything will be good. And yeah, so you guys have a great night. Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, yeah, y'all have a great night. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.